All right, so you've just downloaded and installed the Armonico theme from Mint Themes. Personally, I like to call it Armonico, but that's just me. And uh, we, we want to make sure that you guys get this theme set up with the least amount of trouble possible. So if you follow this, we're going to hopefully help you avoid any of the problems that you might run into. So let's head over to the WordPress dashboard. And at the top, right after you install it, you'll notice that you need to have the Cart66 Commerce plugin installed. So just click on the word here where it says you can get it directly here and then click on install now click on OK it's gonna download it and so it's installed it and now let's just click on activate so we've successfully installed the Cart66 Lite plugin and you can see that it's added this tab here down at the bottom with a bunch of different things uh, the Cart66 plugin is just the thing that handles all of the cart functions as far as selling and displaying our products so the next thing that we're gonna do is go up to posts categories and you're going to want to think about what it is that you're selling in your store and how you want to organize it. But uh, essentially what I like to do is make categories for my products. So I'm going to set up a sample t-shirt uh, store here. So the first category I might make would be called t-shirts. And I'll just click on add new category. I'll make one called shoes. Add new category. Hats. Add new category. And let's say I also happen to sell lunch boxes because, you know, people need to eat lunch. So I, I've got a category for lunch boxes, hats, shoes, and t-shirts. So now let's head down to appearance, menus. And we want to make sure that we create some navigational menus because that's how people get around. So click uh, where it says menu name. I'm just going to make a new menu and I'm going to call it main navigation. And click on create menu. And I'm going to add a few different things to this. Uh, let's go down to categories and click on view all. And I'm going to add my hats, lunch boxes, shoes, and t-shirts to this menu. And you can see it's added them here. And let's say I also have a custom page and maybe a contact page. I'm going to add those to the menu as well. So I'm going to click on save menu. And I'm going to repeat that process for footer navigation and product sidebar navigation too, because there are three different types of navigation on this site. So again, just repeat that process. You just add the menu and add your items to it. And then over here on the left-hand side where it says theme locations, you're going to select the menu that you've made. So in the primary navigation slot on the website, which is the area right at the top, if I flip over here, you can see it's right here up at the top. If I flip back, you can under primary navigation I'm gonna select my main navigation menu which I just created here and I'm gonna click on save so again you want to just repeat the, the exact same process for footer navigation which is at the bottom and product sidebar navigation which is on the product page sidebar so now let's move on to theme options so under appearance theme options we're gonna click on theme options And you'll notice here that there are a ton of different options. These are the options that come with the theme that allow you to do things like upload your logo, add a slogan, um, and there's a whole bunch of different options. They're pretty self-explanatory and there are descriptions off to each side. So I won't spend a lot of time going over that, but uh, if you read through it all, it's pretty uh, straightforward. So just make sure that you do fill out all of that information. And lastly, let's look at pages. So we're just gonna click on pages and you're going to go down to this cart page which is a cart which is a page that cart 66 the plugin has automatically created when we installed it so we're just going to click on edit and over here on the right hand side where it says template we want to change it from default template to cart template and this is just going to add some nice styling uh, and and a few different things to the to the shopping cart page so let's just select cart template under page template and then click on update and now we have successfully changed the formatting of the cart page. And now let's figure out how we're actually going to start adding products to this site. So let's go up to Posts, Add New. And this is the page where you're going to add a new product. And you'll see under here where it says Product Information, only fill out the following if you're posting a product, otherwise leave this blank. And so basically, if you want to be posting a blog and you don't want it to look or format like a product, don't fill out any of this bottom information only fill out the title and the description and and maybe like the tags and anything else that you would normally use for blogging but don't fill out the product information if you do want to post a product make sure that you do fill out the product information 
but there's one thing to note before you do that and that's that you need to add the product to cart 66 before it will show up in this list here you can see that there's nothing in my drop down list and that's because I haven't created a product in cart 66 yet so let's click on here the word here which will open us up in the cart 66 create new product page so I'm gonna add in my product name here and let's just call it blue t-shirt and you have to give it a unique item number so let's uh, I'm just gonna say this is item 100 and I'll put in my price as 20 pounds you can change whether it's pounds or dollars or what your currency is in the cart 66 settings um, so that's where you would change that and this is gonna be an item that I'm gonna ship and I'm also gonna say it's about one pound so digital product options here underneath that is only for if you're selling a file like a digital product so this isn't that so I'm not gonna deal with that right now and we'll also look at product variations so let's say the shirt comes in small medium and large and let's say that it comes in I don't know a dinosaur version with maybe a dinosaur on the front or like a lunch box version I don't know you'll pick your own options that actually make sense for you uh, with your products but just so you know you can add options to your product here so now that we've done that let's click on save and you can see down here that it's added item 100 the blue t-shirt to our list of products so now let's go back to posts and add new post and let's call this blue t-shirt and we'll put a description this is a blue t-shirt that could be bought with a dinosaur on the front or even a lunchbox so now that we've got our description in there we're gonna go down to select a product and you'll see that our blue t-shirt that we created is now in this select list so let's select our blue t-shirt and we have the ability to upload four product images so let's click on upload and select files and I've got these penguins here so I'm just gonna select those penguins as my image because that's what I happen to have as an image right now you would obviously put a picture of a blue t-shirt if you were doing that um, so now the important thing to note here is where the link URL is you want to copy that so just select it right click and say copy and now you can close this dialog box and we're gonna paste it in where it says product image URL number one so you would just repeat that process for two three and four you don't need to have four product images uh, but if you want to you do have the ability to add up to four um, so I'm gonna just make sure that I put this in the correct category now so over here on the right hand side where it says categories I'm gonna click on t-shirts and let's say I'm gonna add some tags as well so now I've added my tags I'm gonna click add you can see it's added my tags here and last but not least we want to set a featured image so click on set featured image and click on select files and let's say I use this koala bear this time and it's gonna upload this image and now that I've uploaded my featured image I'm gonna go down here to where it says use as featured image click on that and I can close this dialog box now and if I scroll down here you can see under featured image that it's used my koala image that I just uploaded so now I'm just gonna click on publish and my shirt will now show up correctly on the on the website so that's everything you need to know as far as getting things set up to to work properly with the Ar armonico theme or the armonico theme if you will um, I hope you have uh, good luck with the theme and uh, have fun